When I was younger, I loved to read. Growing up, though, I found it incredibly difficult to find time to read due to my extracurricular activities, school, and schoolwork. However, I was always able to find time because even from a young age, I knew how important reading was to me. Specifically, though, reading fiction, often due to the fact that nonfiction texts were difficult to read and often boring for me. Even now in university, I still have this passion for reading, but it is increasingly difficult to find time due to my schedule with field hockey as well as my class schedule and all the schoolwork with my classes. This year, though, I have managed to read 26 books, including these few that I have here with me, which include The American Roommate Experiment, Gideon the Ninth, The Cheat Sheet, as well as The Last Legacy. Now that I'm older, I've realized that reading fiction has so many more benefits than I previously thought as a kid. Not only does it provide entertainment to us, but it also allows for improved cognitive functions and health, as well as invoking emotional responses within readers, which can lead to so many benefits. However, all this benefits of fiction texts are not to discredit the benefits of nonfiction texts. I just believe that overall, fiction provides more benefits to our society as a whole than nonfiction. My name is Dakota Patter, and today I would like to discuss why reading fiction is so important. To begin, I want to discuss the emotional responses that can be invoked by reading fiction. Reading fiction can allow for improved empathy, thus improving communication skills and allowing for better relationships. With improved empathy, when individuals are able to connect to something emotionally, they can relate it back to their own life, thus gaining empathy or empathetic values. In a 2013 study done by Dr. Ball and Dr. Van der Kamp, they did a study of a week long where after a week it was found that participants showed increased empathy after the experiments, which was reading fiction for a week. This was recorded through self-done empathy tests done before and after the experiment. When individuals are more empathetic, their relationships are able to be improved because they are able to express their emotions more freely, have increased understanding, decreased negativity and aggression, as well as forgiveness. Books can also help with trial run relationships almost as a form or a third party view. For example, in the book I showed you earlier, The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams, there is a relationship demonstrated where there is many miscommunications and Hopefully, readers should be able to take that and translate it back into their own lives and avoid conflicts such as that. As well, reading can help improve communication skills. Because of the improved empathy and positive mindsets towards empathetic values, people are able to communicate their feelings and express their emotions more freely, as well as easily. Not only is this incredibly important for maintaining and creating relationships, but as well really helps with communication skills. The next benefit would be the cognitive improvements that reading can benefit from. Reading can help in reducing cognitive decline, aiding in cognitive development, as well as aiding in just overall brain health. Mentally stimulating activities such as reading are able to aid in cognitive decline in elders. As well, it aids in the development of communication and comprehension skills in young children growing up with reading, such as language and listening skills. As well, reading has been shown to improve your sleep, and when our brains have more sleep, they're able to have better functions and thus have better brain health. This brings me to the most obvious and I'd say most important value of fiction, which is escapism and entertainment. Reading allows us to experience new worlds, beliefs, and scenarios, as well as helping forget the troubles of the real world as well as providing stress relief. Some individuals are not as fortunate as I and have very difficult home lives where they, their only form of escape or entertainment would be through reading, whether it's from free books at the library or books at school, it doesn't matter. But it provides them stress relief, which is overall good for mental and physical health and stress reduction in general. I would now, however, like to discuss some points as to why people think that nonfiction texts are better. Nonfiction texts allow us to, to have knowledge about the world and are key for learning. Just this year, I've read two books, two nonfiction books from my environmental studies class to further my knowledge of ecological concepts presented in my environmental studies class. At times, I found these books difficult to read and understand because 
They had difficult concepts that I couldn't quite grasp. These books are often excludatory of people who don't have the same level of education as I do. Overall, fiction texts are so much more important for us. Not only does it aid in cognitive functions as well as improved empathy and emotional responses, but it provides us entertainment and escapism when there may not be any other options.